You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Sleepover guest. Roar! Roar! Caillou and Leo were playing dinosaurs. Roar! 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 Jumper, Caillou! Jumper! Roar! Roar! <laughs> Roar! Did you like your brontosaurus pie? Roar! <laughs> All right, you two dinosaurs can go play now. But remember, Leo's being picked up soon. Can't Leo stay longer, please? <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's getting late. Bedtime soon. Roar! <laughs> can Leo sleep over? It's all right with me. What do you think? Sure. As long as it's okay with Leo's parents. Yay! Okay. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Daddy. I can stay! Yay! <laughs> It'll be like going camping, Leo. You could sleep right here beside Caillou. I like camping. Snug as a bug. Caillou thought that camping out on the floor looked like fun. I want to sleep in the sleeping bag. No, I like the sleeping bag. Leo's the guest, honey. He gets first pick. Roar! <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Here are some towels for you and a nice new toothbrush for Leo. I want a new toothbrush, too. Sorry, pal, we've only got one new one. Leo can use my toothbrush. Sharing toothbrushes isn't a good idea. Leo's the guest, and he gets the new toothbrush. Caillou thought it wasn't fair that his sleepover guest was getting all the special things. I want my tiger pajamas. You can borrow a pair of Caillou's pajamas for tonight. I always sleep in my tiger pajamas. I want to go home. Caillou was upset to see Leo sad. He wanted to make him feel better. You can have my dinosaur pajamas. That's very nice of you, Caillou. Are you going to be all right, Leo? Caillou and Leo had found a way to both wear the dinosaur pajamas. <laughs> hey, I like those wild PJs. Time for bed. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Leo. See you in the morning. Good night, Daddy. <laughs> now Caillou and Leo were both camping together. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Games in the Park. Okay. <laughs> Ready, Rosie? <laughs> Caillou could hardly wait because Miss Martin was taking him and his friends to the park. Hi, Caillou! Caillou! Hi, Leo! Hi, Clementine! Bye, Mommy! Me too! You'll see Caillou later, sweetie. Bye, Caillou! Bye, honey. All right, let's go. Bye! Here we are. Mera, 
Clementine, Xavier, Emma, Caillou, Leo. I have a new game for you. Caillou was curious and excited. Miss Martin's new games were always fun. I'm going to win! No, I'm going to win! Race ya! Try this! That was fun! <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. Come over here, please. Does anybody want to play a new game? Yeah! Me yeah! too! Yeah! Me too! Good. Today, we're going to play in teams. You're going to be on my team. We don't know the teams yet. That's a surprise. I'll pull the names out of here to choose the teams. Okay? Yes! yes. The first team will be Xavier and Emma. <laughs> Leo and Clementine. Caillou was disappointed that his best friend Leo was not on the same team. Mara and Caillou. We're going to have a beanbag race. Each team gets one beanbag. Clementine, Xavier. That will make a great starting line. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, Clementine. How do you play? Here's how the beanbag race works. You take turns with your teammate to carry it. And the first beanbag to come back to the finish line wins. I'm gonna win. We'll see. Mara, Clementine, and Emma, go wait at the tree over there. Once you get your beanbag from your partner, you race back. <laughs> <laughs> I can run fast. I can run faster. Okay, boys. Ready, steady, go. Caillou was concentrating so hard that he forgot to give Mara the beanbag. Wait, Caillou, wait! Caillou, come back! Hooray! I win! Caillou, you forgot me! Mara is right. So the winners are the yellow beanbag team, Clementine and Leo. We, we win! win. We, we win! win. Caillou felt bad that they had lost because of him. Let's race again! Sure. Caillou liked the idea he would get another chance to win. Yeah! And this time we'll win! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Look what I can do! That could be part of our next race. Any other ideas? We can push the beanbags down the slide. Good idea. So first, beanbags will go down the slide. Then the partner walks the rim of the sandbox and comes back to the finish line. Yay! Yay! Girls start this time. Boys, you go wait at the end of the slide. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> That's easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. It wasn't so easy after all. But Caillou was determined to do it. I did it. The green beanbag team comes in first. Emma and Xavier win this time. Caillou was proud to have crossed the sandbox. He didn't care about winning the race so much anymore. <laughs> 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 
You all did very well in the beanbag race. I have a surprise. I thought you might like beanbags of your own. Jelly beans! Jelly beans were definitely Caillou's favorite kind of bean. And he knew someone else who just loved them. <laughs> oh, she won. First, we have to race. I need your ball, and you go to your toy box, okay? Caillou wanted to show Rosie the new game he learned. You say go. Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> go give the ball to Mommy. <laughs> we win. <laughs> Our team wins. Yay! Some for you. Some for me. Some for you. Thank you. That was a fun race. Shall we do it again? We can't. Why not? <laughs> there are no more jelly beans to win. <laughs> the Sugar Chef. Jonas had invited Caillou's family for a visit at the ranch. Caillou liked the sound the sleigh bells made when the horses moved. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Look, there's a bucket on that tree. That's right. Let's go check it out. Whoa. 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 <laughs> this way. It's water. It looks like water, but it's sap from inside the maple tree. See? It comes out here. Caillou was surprised that something like that could come out of a tree. Want to taste some? Ozzy, oh, too. We can make great things from sap. What things? All kinds of great treats, like maple syrup, maple sugar. Oh, Yay! and maple butter. <laughs> mm. First, we need to collect some sap. I want to help. Okay, partner. Can you carry this to the sleigh? Can I do it? Sure, go ahead. Great job. Let's bring the sap back to the sugar shack and turn it into maple goodies. Look at this. It's become maple syrup. Caillou couldn't believe it. All the watery maple sap was now thick maple syrup. Can I taste it? It's really too hot right now. Besides, I need to boil it longer for a surprise. I sure could use some help with this special table outside. Sure, I'll get right to it. Me too! Ozzy too! That's great, Caillou. We'll be done in no time. Nice and flat now. <laughs> Perfect. Stay back. This is very hot. Why are you pouring that on the snow? The snow cools it off. This is my favorite treat of all. It's maple toffee. Try this, partner. Mmm, this is the best maple toffee I've ever tasted. My turn! Ozzy, too! Mmm! Mmm, yum! What a treat! Do you want some help there, Caillou? Caillou was determined to get the toffee by himself. He couldn't wait to taste it. Winter Mystery. Bye, Caillou. Wait for me, Daddy. Caillou, <laughs> we're not done yet. Done. The strong wind had knocked the bird feeder down during the night. 
Daddy was fixing it. There we go. All fixed up. We can fill it. I can do it. Good job. The birds will love it. Where are they? They'll return as soon as their house is back in place. See? Some of them have been here already. They left tracks. Caillou was surprised that birds could make prints in the snow. You have visitors, Caillou. They're coming around the side of the house. Caillou was happy to see the twins. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jason. Make sure you stay in the yard where we can see you. Okay. Look, bird tracks. I can make bigger tracks. <laughs> Let's play follow the leader. Follow me. Ready? Go! <laughs> Look! Caillou was curious about these new tracks. They were smaller than his own, but bigger than the bird prints. Let's follow these tracks. They're gone. Caillou wanted to know where the prints went. They stop here? Let's play snow tag. You're it. <laughs> huh? Gotcha, Caillou. Hey. <laughs> there. What could have made the snow fall like that? Tracks. Caillou was delighted to have solved the mystery of the vanishing tracks. He wants to play. Wait for us. Caillou, Jeffrey, and Jason were getting tired of trying to keep up with their energetic new friend. <sighs> Let's make angels. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Look! The squirrel is making angels, too! And so Caillou, Jeffrey, and Jason decided to make more angels. <laughs> which were beautiful. Caillou Snow Day. Caillou loved snow. He couldn't wait to go outside to play in it. Look at all the snow! Snow! How about after breakfast, I give you two a ride to the big park on your sled? Yay! too deep and you guys are heavy. I want to help! hard for Caillou to climb up the big snow pile. Look at me. I'm the king of the castle. Uh, look at me. Caillou liked standing at the top all by himself. He could see everywhere in the park. Hello. Caillou, come on over here. Okay. We can make a snow fort. Yeah! Although Caillou was not sure how to build a snow fort, he thought it was a great idea. Let's put yours on top. It'll make our fort higher. 
Caillou wanted to show Andre. He could help, too. Wow! Careful! Just don't push so hard. Try over there. Wow! Yay! There! Now we need snowballs! To throw at the bad guys, right? Too? Yeah, you could be the bad guy. Hey, no fair. I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> Time out. We're out of snowballs. Want to make the fort higher? What a nice snow fort. Can we help too? Uh huh. Rosie? Caillou thought this was the best snow day ever. <laughs> Grandma, we have loads of fun together. Like bird watching with real birds. Grandma's real good at arts and crafts. And we love playing music. I love staying over at Grandma's house. Do, 